All right, this is a story that happened to me in fucking Copenhagen, Thailand. And to start, I fucking definitely lost some size. I got another week till I can get back in the gym, but we'll get it all back. So I was in Copenhagen for the full moon party. I had flown my fucking ex over to come and go to the party with me. It's a big party in fucking Thailand. This was back when Swedish House Mafia and Knife Party and things like that were massive. So it was a big event. I ended up going to Sensations not long after that to see fucking Swedish House Mafia and it was brilliant. That was in Bangkok. And fucking, so my ex has flown over. We go to the fucking full moon party. We've got a few days there. And once you get there, it's just on a massive beach strip. So it's just sand and besides the beach there's little clubs little bars and little huts where they serve fucking buckets of booze buckets of whatever you want you know maybe it's five dollars australian for fucking like four or five standard drinks but in a bucket with with red bull shit like that but i'd been talking to friends of mine for before i went there and they said oh if you want something stronger to fucking party with why don't you, you can go to an island. There's little fucking long boats and boats there that take you out to these islands that you can get something a bit stronger. And being younger, I said, well, why the fuck not? So I got my ex with me. It's now about nine o'clock at night. We think, yeah, let's get something a bit stronger and hit this long boat guy up. There's probably three ties there. Hit him up. Let's call him. I think his name, he said his name was Joe. I'm fucking sure it's not Joe, but Let's say we got Joe in the boat and he says, yeah, sure. I'll take you over to this island. I think it's $20 Australian. Take you there. Take you straight back. Think, yeah, sweet. We'll fucking get the boat. We're in it. It's a piss trip. But I noticed halfway there that it's kind of out at sea, really, because the water's quite rough. And we're in this massive long boat, wooden fucking engine on the back. It's, but it's quite primitive. You know, like it's fucking, it's really feeling the waves. And then we still get there, get out the boat, got my ax with me, get the shit. And then the dude's dancing, fucking he's having a, a laugh, having a good time with his friends. And then I'm like, oh, I want to go to the bathroom before we go back to the, the other side. And then he goes, yeah, there's a, like a tool shed thing over there. It's got a bathroom in it. So just go there and I take my ax with me. And as I'm halfway to the shed, I look back and then see this Thai guy and he goes from having a fucking laugh, having a good time, and he's barking orders at the other guys. And I just got this vibe. I have a good perception for, I would say, risk and danger. And then I just had this feeling, like an instinctual feeling that something's gonna happen at some point. You know, some, uh, gotta be a bit cautious here. And then we walk to the tool shed, go to the bathroom, and then there's fucking like a tools on the wall and there's a screwdriver there. So I take the screwdriver off the wall. It's like this fucking manky one. I, I don't think that it would have done a whole lot, but I still stuff it down the front of my pants just in case. And then we get there to go back on the boat. And now there's four guys on the boat. I think there's three on the way over, but we picked up another guy. So I assume that we were just gonna take him back, another tire guy. And then now there's four guys on the boat. So we get about maybe halfway back to the island and I can start to hear the music. It's, it's loud and it looks like, you know, it's quite fun. The beach is packed. There's probably five or 10,000 people between the clubs, the beach. It was fucking busy and it was lit and it was fun. And then, but here I am kind of out at sea. And then I'm halfway back to the island now I'm sitting in the middle of the boat. My ax is on the, more towards the front of the boat. The tie guys are at the back. One's on the engine, working that, and the fucking rudder thing, whatever the fucking way boats work. And then there's three other guys sitting at the back as well. And we get about halfway back and the engine cuts off all of a sudden. So it goes from loud, like a fucking lawnmower in my ear to just silent. Other than the music that I could hear from the beach, it was silent out at sea. And then he cuts the engine off. And then as soon as the engine's cut, I know something's going on. And I had drowned, had a drowning a fucking year earlier, a bad drowning that I ended up getting out of the army over. And 
So we're at sea and I'm thinking, fuck, like, this is probably too far for me to swim. The water's rough. I got this, I got a fucking girl with me. I got a screwdriver down the front of my pants, but now I've got four dudes. And then before all that shit happens anyway, before all that stuff runs through my head, I look up, look over, and this guy has pulled this massive machete out, out of under the seat where he was sitting. It must have been sitting there. It's quite dark. And then he holds it up in the air. And it's enormous. And not only that, he's got the drop on us all. And he's probably, you know, maybe a meter away. So he's not even, he could have that swung on me in fucking half a second. And he didn't threaten me with it, but he holds it up and he goes, like, where's your money? Like, Give me your money. And I think, well, fuck, you know, like, what, what did, can I do? A, a second or two goes by of me thinking, oh, I could do something. And then I, I reach in, get my wallet, open it up. I've got maybe, I know I don't have a lot of money on me. And then I have maybe $120 Australian worth of currency in baht. I think it was about 3,600 baht at the time. And then as I do it, I'm thinking, fuck, like the engine's cut off. I wonder how many dudes these guys just toss over if they don't like them, you know, like they might get pissed off at someone or the guy does something wrong or they just think, well, fuck this guy, let's just chuck him out at sea. And then the dude takes the money, gives it back to the guy. It starts filtering further back, the cash hands it further back. And then the dude just smiles and just kind of laughs about it and puts the machete away and then gives me like a, a slap on the shoulder as though, you know, it's just kind of a joke. And then it always struck out at me that on the ride back, turns the engine on, we, we ride back. I'm sort of like fucking, I got adrenaline was rushing, but then I had that adrenaline dump phase, you know, where everything starts to get quite heavy. My legs were quite heavy. And then I think as we get back to land, I jump out of the boat, whatever. I'm still a bit fucking like, yeah, whatever. But this guy comes up, the, the main guy, let's call him Joe. And then he goes to me, you know, like, have a good night, you know, and fucking like pats me on the shoulder again. And then I think like, it's just nothing personal. You know, it wasn't like fucking a targeted thing. It's not like he, it's just business, you know. And I have been on both sides of that coin since then both sides of that fucking scenario and it is it is just business when you deal with the professional it's just how it is it's not fucking he's would forget me within a day and they do it to the next person you know it's just it's their land it's their fucking rules and yeah i think i handled it well we both got out okay had a fucking great night everything still continued on as normal as soon as the dude patted me on the shoulder i realized that it wasn't fucking going to continue and I went and got cash out, had fun. Saw him again as I fucking had left at like 2 or 3 a.m. Gave him a wave. You know, it's nothing personal. This was nothing personal for me. It's just it's their land. And I learned a lesson that day that I like to think that I've carried over since. That if I am to get robbed, I'm very fucking happy to get robbed by a professional and not by a fucking amateur where I would have had my hand cut off.